welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do some anatomy revision now this is the first slide so the first question has two parts a and b part a popliteal artery is vulnerable during supracondylar fractures of the femur due to forces acting on the distal fragment state two other factors that make it vulnerable in these fractures so one you have proximity to the bone so the popliteal artery usually lies on the popliteal surface of the femur. The second factor is what you call the tethering effect. So there is connective tissue that anchors the popliteal artery from the adductor hiatus to the soleal arc. So at the level of the adductor hiatus, there is connective tissue. At the level of the soleal arc, there is connective tissue. So it's anchored at both ends. And so making it not uh, be able to, not pliable. Now, name the nerve that supplies the perineum and state its root value. The nerve of the perineum is the pudendal nerve, and the root value is S2, S3, and S4. So what movements take place at the atlato-axial joint? So this is lateral flexion. This is when you move your head while you're saying no. That is lateral flexion. At the atlanto-occipital joint, you have anti-flexion of the neck, which is how you move the head when you're saying yes. Now, define the term scoliosis. This is a lateral spine curvature, and it's an abnormal one. Lodosis is an anterior convexity of the spine, which is normal. It only becomes abnormal when it is exaggerated lodosis. So there are four karyotypes here that are supposed to identify. The first karyotype, if you look at, uh, this is the 23rd chromosome. So you have X and Y present. So you have two X's and one Y. So that is XXY. And that is Kleinefelter's syndrome. And then you have three chromosomes at the 21st. So this is trisomy 21, which is Down syndrome. Here you have absence of one pair. Of the, uh, the, the One allele is missing here at the X chromosome. So this is monosomy of 23rd chromosome. So this is X0. There is nothing on the Y chromosome and just one allele at the X chromosome. So this is Turner's syndrome. Okay. So usually it is uh, 45XO. Then you have here three alleles at the X chromosome. So you have a triple X syndrome state the anatomical basis for the following symptoms in compartment syndrome so pain at the level of the leg pain is usually due to the stretch of fascia cruris on the periosteum which is rich in nociceptors which are the pain receptors paresthesia is usually due to compression of the deep peroneal nerve state the basis of poor healing in distal tibia fractures so in the distal tibia you don't have as much blood supply because the nutrient artery is proximal. The metaphyseal arteries tend to be fewer distally around the ankle joint as compared to the knee joint and the tendons are distal. So the muscle bulk is more proximal where the blood supply is for the muscular arteries. Thank you and if there is any question you can leave them on the comment section below.